welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. Now, in this lecture, we are going to study a very important thing that should be done before performing any hypothesis test, that is, checking the normality. I have taken these data as example. There are 12 sets of data. These are the percentage yield of a certain product. So, I want to find out whether the data is normally distributed or not. For that, I will show you two different methods. Let us go to the first method. We click on the stat, we go to the basic statistics, and we go to the graphical summary. Click on the graphical summary. On the variables menu, you click the yield or any column of which you want to find the normality. Click c1 or percentage yield now let's click ok after you click ok you get the following graph and the details at the right hand side now the main thing that we have to look is a p value for a normally distributed data the p value must be greater than 0 0.05 if p value is greater than 0 0.05 it means our data distribution is a normal so we can use different normal distribution accepted methods like t-test, z-test, ANOVA, etc. In the normality test, null hypothesis assumes that the data is normally distributed. And the alternative hypothesis says the data is not normally distributed. If the p-value crosses the 0.05 mark of the alpha value, we conclude that the data is normal or normally distributed. There are other data here too, the skewness and kurtosis, etc. Generally, for normal distribution, the value of skewness is uh, minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5. So, it is in the normal range. Skewness is the measure of asymmetry of a probability distribution. We see that the central peak is around the mean position and the curve is symmetric around the mean. Generally, it is accepted that if the skewness value is lesser than minus 1 or greater than plus 1, the curve is asymmetric or non-normal. And this kurtosis value, it gives us the height and sharpness of the central peak relative to the standard normal curve. For standard normal curve, the kurtosis value is 3. If the kurtosis value is more than 3, the central peak is generally taller and the tails are generally thicker and longer. Now, more than skewness and kurtosis, we are generally interested in the p value. So, for this distribution, as our p value is 0 0.03, it is a normally distributed. Now, let us see another way of determining the normal distribution. For that, we go to the stat and we go to the basic statistics. And we go for the normality test. Now we click the yield as a variable and we leave all this at it is and click on the OK. You see a graph probability plot of yield percent. Here too we see that the p value is 0 0.303. It means that data are normally distributed. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, agile and scrum, kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.